in this video uh, I want to go over um, how to sort or how to select or make a sample of 30 male and female. Now if you look at this data this is a data of 500 uh, New Zealanders okay and this is the data of 500 people of different age group probably we don't know about the age but the information that we have is basically the weekly hours and income and you also know about the ethnicity let me show you one function that I just I didn't discuss in the class now if you want to count how many male and how many female are there there is an option called count if so let me copy control C and paste control V I want to count how many female are there uh, I want to calculate count how many Europeans are there and say how many Maori are there and say how many other are there you can count whatever without doing the actual counting so let's say how many I want to see also see how many bachelors are there how many people with school degree or school qualification how many with vocational okay so if I want to do that how will I do it there is a formula called count if so what you do is you in this cell I want to fill in I want to know how many males are there in this data out of 500 okay so I'll go equal count if and then you have to open with a bracket and then it tells you what's the range okay so where do you want this to be counted from so you have to highlight the column in which Excel can find the male and female highlight the whole column which is going to give male and female okay so you can do also this smartly so let me show you first so this is I've done this by highlighting but if you use a formula the formula is there the column is from B2 colon B501 and then you put a comma and then you type in the mail so I'll explain the formula so what is the formula the formula is telling Excel in this in this column from B2 to B501 find how many I6 I6 stands for mail and then if you enter it will tell me that 238 males same way equal count if you can open bracket so b2 b2 colon b501 okay and then comma so can you see it has automatically highlighted the cells b2 is this cell and b501 is the last cell and what do I want to count I want to count how many females I click on female and close the bracket and you can count these two will add up to 500 so there are 238 male and 262 female so if you want to see how many Europeans are there's the same formula count if but now the cells will change your yeah, Europe European and others and Maori are in this cell so I'll have to say that is in C2 colon C501 so it is highlighted comma thus click on that close the bracket so 385 Europeans are there so how many Maoris are there equal count sorry count if open bracket C2 colon C501 comma I want to count how many more is I'll click on that or oh, close bracket so there are only 44 more okay so when you are when you want to frame a good question if you want to decide the two groups the two groups should not be suppose here in this data set it will be not good idea to compare Europeans with Maori okay because there is a very disproportionate representation of Maori compared to Europeans okay so yeah somebody found to see how many others are there so same thing equal count if 
open bracket C2 colon C501. So you can see this column is highlighted, comma, click on others, close bracket, so there are 34, and so on, you can do that, okay, so this is a good way to check your data and see what's happening. So I will, I want to sort this, I want to select 30 male and 30 female from this, so let me use an eraser to erase this, okay. So now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the whole data set. So for that, you highlight the title, and then you press Control shift down arrow That will highlight the whole data set. Right-click, sort, custom sort, and I want to sort by gender. So you've got female, and then you've got male. So I'm going to make two groups. I'm going to highlight the title again. Control C and I'm going to paste it here. Control V. Okay, so and if you print the plus sign, you can make the columns adjust according to the need. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and paste the mail from here. So this is the mail. So highlight the whole mail data set and oh, it's still going okay yeah almost done so I'm going to cut it from here cut scroll up and paste it here so this is male this is female and this is male okay so now I want to select 30 random female and 30 random male so for that I want I have to add a random I want to add a column can insert a column like this bring the plus sign right click and insert okay so let me make this column a bit bigger so this is random number and then you go equal equal rand open bracket close bracket and then a, this is a random number so you can keep if you go out and come in like this the numbers will keep changing okay so I want highlight the cell bring the plus sign like this and double click so all random numbers are populated so now I want to make this just a number not a random number I don't want this to change so again right click copy it and on the top there is a paste icon click on the down arrow and click on this paste as value. So now this number has is not a random number, it's just a number. Okay, so it will now change now. All these are random numbers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the whole data set. Control Shift down arrow. Okay, and then you can right click. So let me go up. Right click, sort, custom sort, and I will sort according to random number smallest to largest so automatically these numbers will all get changed and correspondingly the other data will also be changing so this is this all numbers have become random so this this is from the lowest smallest to the largest and these numbers have all changed so I want to select only 30 of them so scroll I'll go up to the 31st data so this is 31st data, that means the top row is title, so I'll have to go, I'll have to select up to the third, I'll go from the 32nd data, okay, and I'll delete that, okay, so delete it, so that's gone, so this is 30, so if you want to put a serial number, so if you go serial number, I can go 1, enter 2, and if you just end, highlight 1 and 2 and bring the plus sign, can you see there are 30, okay, so you've got 30 uh, female, random females from the group of about 300 females, okay, the same thing I want to do 
for mail. You can pause this video and try to do it yourself. Hopefully you've done it. So I have done the same process for mail. First generated random numbers, then uh, saved it as pasted as a value and then sorted the whole data according to random number. So this is and I want to just get the 30. So this is serial number 30. So that will tell me from here I'm going to delete the rest. Okay. So I want only 30 random male and female. Now to use the program of insight, you have to have the data in a vertical form. You can't have it like this. I'll cut it from here. You can also copy from here. Oh, let's cut it and paste it like this. The program reads Hopefully I didn't do it properly, so let us do it properly. I have to paste from here. Yeah. So, and then if you double click from here, it will go up to 60. So you can see there are 60. This is a sample of 30 male and females. You can also make a border, highlight the whole thing. Highlight the column, and if you click on this all borders it will make borders so this is so I can also make this border highlight this and click on this it looks better so this is a sample of 30 male and female okay so to import the data the data should be in a vertical form like this and second thing is the this sheet should be not anything else other than sheet 1. It should be sheet 1. The program doesn't read from sheet 2 or sheet 3. Okay, so when you're importing it inside, there are two things that needs to be taken care of. Whatever data you're importing should be on sheet 1. It doesn't matter whatever name you give to the file. And it should be in a vertical form. Okay, all the data should be like this. So I'm going to save this. So I'm going to save it. So I'm going to save it on my computer. So I'm going to name it uh, Mr. Matt. And I want to, you can save it on your folder. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay, so that I can, I know where it is. Okay, I'm going to save it. Okay, so this is saved now. Now if you want to open Insight, what you need to do is go on Start, Computer, Student Resource, uh, under Maths, under Maths, there is a folder called Insight, and under Insight, this is Insight 130509. So click on that and start Insight icon, double click, and it will open in a while. Okay, now you have a window open like this, the Insight and Visual Inference Tool System. And you click on this Run icon, and this is loading. Okay, it will take a while for to load, and this window will open. And then you go to Data In and Out, click on that. I want to import data. And then I have to browse and find the location. I know it is on my desktop, so I'll go click on desktop. It's populating, so I know I should find it. Uh, it is, yeah, so this is New Zealand income of 500 Kiwis, Mr. Matt, so click on that, OK, and press click on OK. So this is my, so this is the random number person ID. So I want to draw. Suppose my question is, I want, I'm wondering if uh, females work more than, or let's say if, what's the income? Let's look at weekly income. Who earns more? Okay, so you have to just uh, drag and drop. So click on this gender and drag it on variable one. So they've got 30 male and 30 female. Okay, and then I want to see, I want to draw the dot plot and the box plot of the weekly income. So drag and drop in the second variable. So this is 
the box plot and this and the dot plot together okay so this is the median this is the lower quartile upper quartile this is the maximum and you can make it the window bigger by dragging bringing the plus sign like this and you can drag it like this if you want to make it bigger now if I want to see the stats so let me bring it if you bring it out like this there is an icon called get summary so if you click on get summary this is the window which you can also make it bigger for some reason it is only taking 29 female and 30 female it is not choosing one of the okay I don't know for what reason some reason it is not picking one dot it doesn't matter so you got the minimum female minimum is zero lower quartile is 280 median is 450 don't worry about mean third quartile is 780 and maximum is 1350 okay now if you just want to find who works so let me put window up uh, I want this up now suppose if you want of hours that they work you have to just and drag and drop weekly hours and this is the box plot and the dot plot of weekly hours and you can also get the stats like this